Hey everybody, I'm Crow, and welcome back to Blue Fire. More stuff not recording for whatever reason. This has only been like 10 minutes, but uh, we went back to Stoneheart City twice so that we could sell, so that we bought all of the, 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 the charms, the spirit stuff from the spirit hunter guy. And now that our dash is like super long, that uh, the big like tunnel right next to him, that we couldn't get through before with the long dash we could make it so we literally just like dashed to the end of that and then went into a pipe and then we stepped on a switch and it lit up one of these four things and then Vaughn showed up fire guardian we meet again it is no mere coincidence that you have stumbled upon this chamber I could kind of feel like it was warrior have you heard the tale of the four flames Thousands of years ago, when the shadows raided the kingdom, the great three knights were corrupted. One of these great knights was known as Lord Samael. Shrouded in darkness, Lord Samael slayed one of the sacred gods. The Lord had become a threat to the land. The young arcane brothers, a group of powerful elders, Use the powers of the Sanctuary Stone to seal Samael, creating the Seal of the Four Flames, and leaving him to rest eternally in the depths of this chamber. The tale says that once the Warrior of Light ignites the Four Flames, only then will the Seal be broken. Guardian, I believe it is your task to light the flames. Lord Samael has been locked up for centuries. It is time you destroy him. So we bought stuff, and then we jumped in a pipe, and I guess we gotta hit the big buttons and stuff now. I was, I was more intending- oh, there's an elevator over there. Maybe that's the elevator from the ice place. I was more intending to continue on with the ice place, since we already, already did one of those. But, uh, look at how freaking far our dash is. It is- it's killed me so many times, because it just goes so far. And I just- it just overshoots everything. Alrighty, and as for spirits, we got the, the Frozen Soul, makes our dashes do damage. We still get health when we kill things. Our movement speed's faster. Doubles the amount of ore collected, of course. Increases the length of dash. No damage from falling. And sword damage while attacking in midair, just in case we run into any of those icy, icy spirit deaths. This is, uh, reduces shield mana consumption. I, I never use that anyway. And, uh, performing a spin attack after a dash increases the spin attack's height. I, I don't know how to spin attack, or what constitutes a spin attack. Is that a, am I spinning? Is this a spin attack? I don't know, dude. This looks like a bit of potentially new stuff, because there's no way we could have cleared this before, but now it was with ease. So hopefully this is one of the things we went all the way back to the firekeep starting area stuff because I assume that there is much much more things we can do. Oh. That was just a shortcut door back to the beginning, but this was this was the thing I remembered. So now we can do our Twilight Princess stuff. Except now there aren't tons of precarious falls, they're like little tiny baby falls. Not that that really matters. I mean, I guess for the whole climbing back up factor of it, but like... I don't know if those actually are falls to the death. 2v death, even. I don't know why I thought they weren't. I thought it was just like, oh no, minor inconvenience. It's like, nah, you, you stop existing. Because I was going to say, we have no fall damage now. But, like, if we fall off that tower, we would still have to climb back up the tower. Yeah, I thought it would be more like this. There's, like, stuff. Look in all the crevices. There's nothing. There's totally a way to get up there, actually, isn't there? In that we have already gotten up here. Is there stuff up here? This is like, yes, this is like perfect place for stuff to exist. Sapphire ore. Oh, there's even more on the other side. Whoosh. Sapphire ore. I had a feeling before we even opened it. 
We had an overabundance of them. We, we had 16 and we sold 10 of them. Dang. I was kind of hoping there'd be a spirit up here and be all super fancy, but that's fine. No spirits hiding up top. Doesn't look like we're getting any higher at the moment, anyhow. Inspect? Oh, the, the starter messages. Because we have that uh, attack out on, like, I was going to take that attack off the dash. Because I was like, we don't really need that. But then I realized it breaks boxes. And I kind of dig that. More stuff down this way. Oh, is this all the way back to the starting room? It was. Even more straight across from the starting room. Now I can boop you for all of your health. Could also probably boop them for all of theirs, but, uh... Hmm. I wonder if that was just a way around or something. We're only missing one of them. Would it be right down here? Nope. There's totally a spirit up there, too. I do not have a way in which to get up there, I don't think. Unless I can get up on the statue and do something fancy. How do we even do that? What would I jump off of? If only you could grab onto the edge. Nah, it might be possible to do it now. But I'm thinking unlikely. Oh! We totally missed this before. Techno! I know exactly where that is, too. It's in the arcane tunnels. Alright, it was probably more this way then, because I didn't see anything that other way. We probably just did not continue this way far enough. It's got to be on the other side of that door. And so it was. I didn't remember this was a dead end or I would have come this way first. That is two of the bases, and one of the flames for the sewer. 